Okay, good folk, what have I got now? It looks like I've got a big mess. <laughs> well, I've got an Edison diamond disc phonograph in a very sought after case. Uh, we're gonna talk about the case later, but you can see it's in the sort of what they would call the English walnut style with the stretchers down here on the bottom. Now, and I'm telling you what, Edison built his cabinets like brick phone booths. Um, we'll take a look at this later. Here's the Edison tag. So we have, we're going to be able to find out exactly when it was made, uh, in Orange, New Jersey, of course, all these were made up in Orange, New, <coughs> New Jersey, excuse me for coughing. This is the record storage down below, uh, which I have some of the diamond discs, but, uh, what about the guts? Well, here we go. Look at this. And this, these things are built. We've got a monstrous two spring motor here. We've got two cans with uh, enough power. Ooh, those are some big springs. And the governor is in excellent condition right here. Uh, and then this is where, this is the top of it. So the turntable goes here. And then this is the Edison style uh, horn with the muffler here for the tone and everything. Uh, this is the reproducer to the Edison diamond disc. So I've got my work cut out for me because this thing has been uh, in storage for quite some time and right now you can see it's all in pieces. I do have the lid. I've got the grill on the front which retains its original silk if you can believe that. Let's have a peek. There it is right there on the front seat of the truck. You can barely see it. So I've got all the pieces and it's a matter now of uh, doing some, some work on the cabinet, some restoration work on the cabinet. Getting the thing in, uh, putting it all back together again, cleaning it and getting it in working condition. It's going to need a complete restoration, but Edison Diamond Disc Player, we'll talk more about that later. I am extremely excited.